local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Well, most of us starting out hot and dry, but there are just a few exceptions here as uh, we get the afternoon started out. You see just a couple downpours right on the Floyd Franklin County line, so right along the Blue Ridge Parkway. You've also got a downpour along Route 103 south of Stewart. These moving very slowly, but they're also the only games in town. A completely different story as you look out toward the northwest, a level three, level four risk of severe weather for areas like Chicago and as you head west into Des Moines. So we're going to be tracking that storm system because it could give us just a couple storms later tonight. As far as the afternoon goes, we're looking pretty good. Just hot temperatures in the upper 80s and lower 90s around 4 p.m. So if you're grilling out today, a decent day to do so. Temperatures by 6 p.m. in the middle to upper 80s. By tonight, naturally temperatures dropping at uh, Martinsville at 66, Roanoke at 69, Danville at 72. So you start to see a little bit of the mugginess returning, especially by tomorrow. But can't rule out again a storm late tonight, at which point some of you may think you're seeing heat lightning. I'm not here to burst the bubble, but heat uh, lightning rather is not generated by heat. It's generated by electricity. You see the negative charges, the positive charges and the discharge is what creates that lightning strike. So what is it that you're seeing? You're just seeing a storm that's really tall in the distance, but then your next question might be, okay, well, why can't I hear the thunder? Light travels so much faster than sound does, so you see the lightning in the distance. It's generated by electricity, but you're not necessarily hearing the thunder because it's so far away. So we may see a little bit of that tonight. This is midnight. See a couple storms getting closer to the West Virginia, Virginia line, and then that's going to leave a boundary with us. So it'll create some clouds at times tomorrow, but could also leave us with a few spotty storms, especially as you go east of the parkway after 1 or 2 p.m. But nonetheless, I do think we see kind of a repeat of what we see today with Roanoke and Lexington at 91 tomorrow, Lynchburg at 93, with Phil quite warm as well at 84. But you will notice a difference in the humidity. It's a little humid out there right now. Humidity levels continue to rise as we head later in the week. So by Wednesday, expecting a couple hit or miss showers and storms in the afternoon. But once we get deeper into the week, we'll watch this area of low pressure in the upper Midwest. Counterclockwise wind blows in more moisture. So you see the yellows and the reds indicating at least the potential for some rounds of heavy rain, especially by Friday. We'll keep you posted here as we go through the next few days before the New River Valley. Enjoy it today. 87 the high in Blacksburg. That's also going to be the case tomorrow. We'll be in the middle 80s on Wednesday, low to mid 80s. Thursdays, we start to see storm chances gradually increasing. Temperatures won't exactly make it up into the upper 80s. By Friday, I think we'll be in the upper 70s and lower 80s. For the Roanoke Valley, upper 80s and lower 90s today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. But again, after that, you start to see storm chances rising just a little bit. Temperatures, meanwhile, topping out in the low to mid 80s Thursday through the weekend. You notice the overnight lows there in the upper 60s and lower 70s. That, too, a sign that humidity levels will continue to rise throughout the week.